Hey everyone, it's Erica, and welcome to another installment of my art habit series, which is simply my habit of creating art every day for an hour, which I'm trying to incorporate into my routine. They say it takes 20 days to build a habit, so I hope that I can make it for at least 20 days or more. I won't be recording every single day because I don't have enough time to edit all these videos on a daily basis, but I will be sharing my process on my other social media, so be sure to follow me on Instagram and check out my website if you haven't already. For this session, I drew some owls on tan toned paper, which I stuck on the back of the page on which I drew landscapes. So in my previous video, I did some Studio Ghibli inspired landscapes with alcohol marker, and that bleeds through most papers quite heavily. It actually bleeds through most of the sketchbooks and notebooks that I own. I do have an alcohol marker sketchbook, but I don't really like it very much because it doesn't lay flat. And the paper for alcohol marker sketchbooks is usually kind of weird because it has a gray tone to it. Anyways, since I'm so picky about my sketchbook paper and I insist on using materials on the paper that can't handle it, I usually cover up the back of the page if I used alcohol markers on it. So for today, I chose some craft sticker paper, which I usually have on hand for making stickers, but since my shop is closed and I'm not making any stickers right now, I figured why not dip into my supplies and use a piece of paper for this purpose. So covering it up actually feeds two birds with one scone because it covers up the page and I can experiment on some craft paper. I really like using craft paper for drawing because you can use white paint, white charcoal, white graphite or anything like that to add highlights and I really like doing that on either gray or craft paper. I found some images of owls and I just decided to loosely sketch them out and then I used brush pen as well. I love using brush pen and um, yeah I think they turned out really cute. first one is so fluffy and adorable and then the second owl which is a horned owl it just looks kind of mad and as I was drawing it I just thought it was just glaring at me and it was putting the pressure on for me to get this owl right. I'm pretty pleased with how these sketches turned out. Of course this art habit series is meant for me to just do art for fun. There's no pressure. I'm not doing this to please anyone but myself. So I'm glad that I was able to loosen up a little bit with this page. I feel like my first couple of art habit drawings were a little bit tight and um, I wasn't able to really have a lot of loose movements like I did today. So that is something that I am really proud of. Uh, I'm glad I showed up to my sketchbook today. All right, that is it for today's sketchbook session. I don't really have much else to say about it because it was pretty straightforward. Just drew some owls and an owl's wing along with some swatches of alcohol marker to see how it would look on craft paper. And I actually kind of like it. It mutes the color a little bit and um, I might do some more experimentation on craft paper for sure with alcohol marker. That is my tip. If you need to cover up anything in your sketchbook, whether it's a mistake or a bleed through from alcohol markers, use sticker paper or just paste some paper into your book. It's all good. Okay, and until the next video, happy journaling, happy art making, and I will see you next time. Bye.